Good morning everyone, to my fellow participant, to the host and to the speaker. I was tasked to do the thickness determination and co compressive strength of core sample. Uh, the significance of this or importance of this thickness determination and compressive strength of core sample Actually, this is coring, coring of one uh, concrete pigment. The importance of this is to assess whether suspected concrete in a new structure complies with strength-based acceptance criteria or not. And in addition to it, critically used to determine in-place concrete strength in existing structure for the evaluation of structural capacity. So meaning, kung kita in doubt ang kanang structure is not failure or something na naabtan ba sa inspector or sa tagiya mismo na nagduda siya nga magdi magiging o ng uh, pagka simento sa pavement or sa wall. So we must conduct a coring test so to para mawang do that, so we have to core the existing or in place concrete pavement or walls. Uh, by doing this, we will use an instrument or a machine called cooling machine. This one, and also I have not yet here the extractor, the extractor of our core sample. Actually. I'm assuming na uh, uh, nag-core na ta ni sa dito sa pavement. Ipakita ko lang ninyo ang, ang machine na gigamit pag-core sa pavement dito sa gawas. So, in i-core nga ni, eh, we'll situate that kining iyang bit core must be perpendicular good. Nya, may buwan na to ang thickness na sa itong uh, program da ang pupila na in thickness ana na pavement let's say i'm using here a uh, 28 mm concrete pavement and by doing this we also assure that by but been cooling ato bina sya paubanan of tubig that's why we have here a water boss para una sya mo core para dili sya ang bit na to mag aso aso sa gagahi mabahi do na mo gina Kita wag na itong murag lubricant. So, water here is a lubricant. So, in order to penetrate deep inside, slowly by slowly, so we can have a good cooling sample. So, by doing this, we we'll follow also the ASTM C36. And also, we will assure that the core sample we get is on an exact diameter, at least a minimum of 3.75 inches or 95.25 mm. And then after cooling, we will get the, the sample and we will assume that the sample is look like this now. And this, we will uh, designate what station or what project we indicate here in the sample. And the core sample, we will divide this into eight parts. That's why I put a marker already here. We have to have a marker. And I assume that this one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in the middle. Okay, and we will use a vernier caliper to measure this one. So, by doing this, measuring first your designated number one here. Okay, and I get the value of 27.5. 
I place it here. And uh, two again, two. Then I got a reading of 26.86. And then three. Here. Three. And then I got a reading of 26.95. And then I mark in number four <coughs> here. So I got a reading of twenty seven point zero four. Uh, proceed to uh, mark number five here. Until we get uh, until number eight, because I already made sure this before before we start. <laughs> then to get the the last one, the inner one. Uh, I assume that this uh, this is a uh, more or less a clamp burner caliper. So I put this there in the middle, and also at the here at the other side of the core. And mark it as 27.06. I mean 27.85. So to get the average, I have total this, and I got the uh, the total is 245.39. To get the average, I got the 27.25 mm. And to compute for the area, we know this is uh, cylindrical, so it's already pi r squared. And also the importance of getting the core, we also make sure the diameter of this from top or the bottom. Be sure that it will not the patient of 5%. Kung mo kwa na siya 5%, uh, ilisan na natin line core, ha? And then, to get the compressive strength of this core sample, we will use now the machine, the hydraulic machine. And before that, we will get a cup, assuming that this is my cup, and place it there. And also on top. And since that, since we will assume na to na ni gipandara. After, but before that, that one we should shift this initial to zero. So after shifting to zero. That's the time we will start the machine until the sample will get the rupture or initial breaking. So we have got a reading here. So after getting the reading, we indicate that one as RP or the load in Newton or megapascal Newton per meter squared or in the convert that to PSI. And that's all. That's how simple is this one? Wow. To compute the compressive strength.